है In this video, we are going to talk about the form. How we can design a form and how we can apply the auto validation on form fields. So let's have a look. This is the bootstrap. Let me uh, just walk you through what I mean by form. You see, this is the form: email address, password, and check me out and submit. This is called a form. Um, in general, we the user sign up. that is a form right the user login that is a form we require some validation that the username and the mobile number email should be validated should be filled properly before submitting the form right for that purpose in html we have a form tag available under the form tag we can design the proper form and uh, uh, on top of this form tag we have some javascript uh, libraries and javascript snippet code snippet available we can apply the auto validation so that uh, if we are saying that this 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 field is mandatory then without filling this email field if we click on submit button it will give a message that you will require to fill the email before proceeding out systems care all these things automatically if we do in a proper way inside a form So let's see how we can achieve this and how we can design a form in Out Systems. This is my Out Systems. I have already created one application and module and one screen that is called widget, and uh, I have given a title form. Here I will just design a form, and I will design a submit button. And on submit button click, we will just see how it is performing validation. We will not perform any backend or database operation on submit button. Just will show a message that. submit button has been clicked that's it if form is valid so to design a form first we require a form widget we have a form widget available i have just drag and drop now if i drag and drop the entity object here automatically our system will design a form for me we will see this when we will 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 have a look uh, um, to the database operation at that time we will talk about this for this particular chapter for this particular lecture i will design the form manually by myself so that you will get an understanding how we can design instead of uh, is asking out systems to design automatically for us so we'll go to widget tree this is the form whatever i will write i will what uh, i will design i will design inside this now let's have a property we have a form name that will be id or name of form Style class by default form card class is applied, and we have some specific set of CSS instruction applicable on the form card CSS class. We can provide some extra attributes as well. We can handle the event as well. If on blur, on change, on click happen on this form, then what needs to be done if required? These are these all things are non mandatory. Now let me design a form where I will ask for name, surname, and mobile number and email. so let me right click insert a widget for name so uh, in this lecture don't skip this lecture don't fast forward this because you will also get to know about designing of a page so what i will do let me show you what we will achieve we will design something like this we will have uh, four inputs name surname mobile email and in this way only the form will look like we'll have a submit button on submit we'll check that all mandatory fields are filled properly and if everything is perfect if validation is passed we'll just show a message that form is valid that's it so let's start the designing so what i need to design i need to design in two row format 50% part will take care by this 50% part will take care by this right adopted by this not to take care so i will just introduce one container by default the width of container will be 100% 12 column inside the form we have some padding applied in this container i will require for first i will require the this name text right so let me just introduce the name text that will be name and then i will require one input so right click and add one input input where is the input input this will be the name input right name input now i can just uh, current by default it adopts 100% 12 column width but we want we don't want this in 12 column we we can we want two uh, two inputs in the same row right so what we can do we can right click and enclose in a container and all together we can just 
make the width five column or six column there is one more way we can click on this container go to style and change the width to four column or five column or six column just make it five column that's it then so this is my this is my name container just give a proper name okay let me introduce one more container it will be the same so i can copy and paste this will be my last name container now this will require uh, some left margin right so we can go to this container go to style and uh, in in this left margin section we can say auto so it will care automatically based on the screen size only these two properties are um, so this is the inline style ideally we should not touch the inline style because it just introduces the hard coded css but the width and left margin is um, um, acceptable we can do this otherwise other things we should not do we should play with the classes we should define the classes to apply the margin padding or, or similar things now it is giving me errors because we'll require variables right variables so let me create the variables first i will require four variable one will be name then will be, will be for name then i will require for surname uh, data type will be text only then i will require for mobile data type will be phone number then i will require for email data type will be email we have a separate data type email and phone uh, we can also um, just uh, use the text as well for email but by using the email data type out system perform some extra validation email email should have some extra validation uh, conditions right so automatically out system take care by this particular data type so that's it let me just uh, bind variable one this this particular with name this with last name i will have to change the text as well so this will be my surname you can change like this as well and you can just change like this as well you can go to the correct uh, place this is my surname this is my name perfect <clears throat> now i will require the same container again uh, below to this container right and that will be for mobile and um, mobile and uh, email i can i can right click and add as well or i can copy paste and this will change the properties so copy and paste you see we got this and now this will be my mobile and this will be my mobile i can say mobile container and this will be my email container email container or the, i can just change the text from surname to email and i can just bind with this bind this particular text input to the proper email now i will require one more row that uh, in that row i will just add the submit button so right click and test but we don't require this we can delete this and this will be submit button container and i can delete both the things and i can just add a new button button where is my button button and i can just um just give a name uh, submit submit or save form and i can just give a uh, so, so so this is the four column i can just make it 10 column and uh, uh, i can just apply a property here align a uh, style class here align right text text align right so it will be aligned to right that's it my form designing is done now i need to add um, one action on the button click so go to the button it is giving error as well this will be my action i can just uh, you just just add a new client action before that let me show you something let's go here you see mandatory is false now what does it mean mandatory is false if mandatory is false in this case if user don't provide a value here and click on submit button it 
the form will not validate this and allow user to proceed without filling this particular field but we want this particular thing as a mandatory true so we can just make it true so name is required surname is also required mobile is optional but email is required so for mobile we just say optional now go to the submit button this is my submit button okay and you see one property is there is form default by default it is just because we introduced this button inside a form and uh, automatically out system understand that this is the form submit button that's why automatically it if we have multiple buttons here to perform some other actions as well we can just set uh, is form default no for that it is yes it means on this button click out system will automatically perform the form validation check on this particular button click so whenever user will click here once user click here automatically out system will perform the check and it will check whether it is filled it has filled and it this particular field has been filled or not if it is filled then uh, it will allow uh, um, proceed otherwise it will not allow to proceed now let's go back to the form as well and uh, we can just first define the action now you see automatically we got this thing what does it mean we have we got one if condition if form one we can just change the name so that you will you will just get to know let me just go here let me go with the form one this is this is user form okay now Mm. built-in validation yes and just uh, go form one user form if user form is valid what does it mean valid valid in the sense whatever rule we have set mandatory rule we have set uh, on the components on the widgets if everything is filled appropriately then the property will be automatically true if something has left or we have uh, just filled incorrectly for example email we have just filled abc abc is not a valid email then automatically this will become false if it is false then we'll just do nothing if it is true then we'll uh, uh, just write our business logic and we'll proceed for further uh, further flow so in this particular flow we can just show that form is valid form is valid that's it that's it done here we can write the database uh, insertion logic um, our form is valid now we can insert this thing to the database that's it let me show you i hope uh, you understand uh, how we can deal with form how we can deal with the metadata property three things three things to consider while using form first we will require to set the proper um, mandatory property and second we will require to design inside the uh, form widget third uh, the uh, buttons is form default property will be yes and fourth not three fourth we have one more thing built in validation should be yes on this button if it is yes then only it will perform the validation now let me show you so this four thing um, you will you will require to keep in mind and consider if i click on submit button you see we got the message we got the error we need to fill this let me fill this ankit kumar and mobile is not mandatory that's why it is not giving the problem now error gone for this two things we have error for email let me write this email still we have an error because email is not valid at the rate gmail now email is valid it has not to perform the validation at that extent but if we want we can we can do that using the javascript so now everything is valid now my form is valid because it is going to this flow this flow right so this is how we can deal with form and we can just uh, perform the uh, we can just configure the auto validation on the form widget that's it guys i hope you understand because this is something what we are going to use 
very frequently uh, um, when we will be dealing with enterprise grade application we will be developing the complex logic form is the essential part of a page right so uh, you can revisit the video if you don't understand and that's it thanks thanks guys thanks for watching